Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. As you can see here, we've got the next four stages of the Hashem part work release, a build your own Batman Tumblr. Now as you can see, what we've actually done on the Tumblr, I've put over here already and I'm going to be doing the next four stages now, so that's seven, eight, nine and ten. Uh, but before we get into any of that, I've got to tell you about my, uh, my week of hell at the moment. You'll probably notice I'm not on a gaming chair. Uh, on my live stream, you probably would have heard that uh, my gaming chair had a bit of a wobble to it when it finally collapsed on me yesterday. Uh, you know, not as uh, thin as I used to be, but uh, I did manage to get the piston out. Now, the normal reason why I don't change gaming chairs is because it's impossible to get those pistons out. But I found a brilliant way to do it uh, with a lug hammer, uh, whacking it on the side and it came out. So I've got a new piston coming today, which means I'll be able to fix my chair rather than have to buy another one. So uh, I'm on a little rickety chair at the moment. But that's not all that's happened this week. Uh, above my head, you know, here I've got X-Wing. That decided on Monday to actually just fall off the shelf. It fell off and smashed into loads of pieces on the uh, workshop floor. So I had to fix that. Some of the metal was bent as well. I had to unbend that. That took me a good two hours to do. And then to add insult to injury, you know what yesterday's video was like, nothing going right. My outer time sign there fell off the wall. And there, as you probably noticed, I've got a new thing there, which is the teleporter console for the Star Trek, uh, fell off the wall and knocked all these figures off. Now they all survived, apart from Uhura, which I had to glue together. So I'm hoping that they might be able to uh, give me another one. I don't know how we are at that at the moment, but I am two figures missing because that console was meant to be the very last uh, stage. So I don't know what's going on there, but uh, oh, I thought I'd just vent at the start of this video because uh, that's what's been going on so far this week. I don't know how it's going to continue, but uh, today though, it's a fresh start because we are doing this Batman Tumblr. Now, if you like what you see and you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Hashet Partworks website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but without further ado, let's get cracking. Look at this magazine, it come a bit bent. These don't actually come in cardboard boxes. These come in packages, which is good because it does cap down on the amount of packaging we have, uh, but you do get things like this. So this is Pack 7s magazine. Again, I'm going to give you a flick through what we've got in that. And as you can see here, it looks like we're doing some more of the shock absorber rods and the right steering bar. So uh, lots of fiddly bits. This is going to be a fun start for this build. Uh, putting all these bits together like that, obviously I'm guessing they're going to attach to what we created in the last stages here. And then by the end of it, we are actually attaching the wheel to this section, so that's good. And we've got the wheel here looking like that. So, let's see how we get on. I do like how they come in their own little box with the Bat logo on there. And uh, I do think on the box, let me just have a check, it does tell you what magazine it is, the numbers on the side. So this is number seven. Let's get this all out. So we have this central stalk here. This is metal, just so you know. I'm going to put that down there and I need two shock absorber parts, which are very similar. And they're going to go either side of this, kind of like that. Now they're going to be held on with UM screws. So what's going to happen is this end is going over the top, held in with a UM screw. This is a flange screw going into metal. So let's get the first one in here. and make sure that's in quite tight. The reason being is we do want that to be able to move and do the same on the other side. When that's done, that should look like that. Okay, bringing over the wheel that we've been working on here and having it this way round. Okay, so it's time to put all of this together now. Now we have got this bracket here which is labeled R and at the bottom you can see we've got a locating lug there. I want that lug to be on the outer side of this uh, section here. So this is gonna go in this way. Now I do have, sorry, just over there like that. So it's actually just going on one arm. Whoops, I've just dropped it. Now I'm gonna be putting a pin through here, but before I do that, I do wanna have what we've just created just put inside this bracket as well. So you are gonna need about 10 pairs of hands for this before I put that pin in. So now the pin can go through the bracket, through the frame, through 
the suspension piece we just created out the other side so it comes out of this side here like that. That's when I'm going to be putting the other bracket on here, which God, I'm butter fingers today, aren't I? That's going to go on top. This is shaped, so it can only go in a certain way like that. And once again, that's held in with a QM screw. I've got that already labeled up here or labeled, loaded up just to put that into place there. So that should now look like that. The most important thing is to ensure that we put this piece in the right way round. And I do keep my mistakes in at the moment. It's pointing down. I don't want it pointed down. I want it to point it up. So that is in the wrong way. I need to flip it. So I'll take that pin out again. Hopefully I don't drop everything. Leave it there. Take this out. Flip it round. There you go. Put it back in. Through the other side. Bracket on top. And then put the flange in. I think it's very important that I do keep those mistakes in. Because again... If I do it, someone else is going to do it. So I make mistakes, so you don't have to. Right, we need to bring over the bulkhead now because the brackets that we've got in here are actually going to go into the holes here and here. So they're going to go in kind of like that. Now they're held in from the other side here with AM screws. So I am holding them quite tight here because I don't want these brackets to come out. And just get these in. So this is the outer one first. Bit of oil. Put the second one in. Perfect. Then I'm just going to line up the other bracket. And put AM screws just into these holes here. So that's the last one just going in here. Now in this pack you see I've got another rod just there. That's the rod I need now. That's going to be going into this suspension shaft that you can probably see just there through the top. And then it's going to attach to the chassis on the connection just there. Hopefully you can see that there. Now that's held in with an RP screw. Again, this is a flange screw and I'll get that in nice and tight. Now, in that same pack, we've got this little black uh, joint here. That's going to be going into the metal plug just behind it. Hopefully you can see there. And they're not telling us what screw to put this in with, but I'm guessing it's another RP screw. There you go. That's gone in OK. But the top section of this bar is going to be going onto this anti-roll bar that we got here. So I'm going to push that down, lock it into position there. And that's going to be held in with a UP screw. These are quite long. So I'll get this through. The easiest thing to line up and do. But uh, as you can see, I've got that in. And by getting that in, don't make it too tight because you are going into plastic. That's now locked that into place, as you can see there. Perfect. I can put that to one side now. As you can see, it does hold itself. Because I am going to start making the steering bar, which looks like this. And I've got one of these universal joints to put over this end here. Now, if you remember when I do these before, I've got this inane ability to cut myself normally when I do this. Just make sure that when we do put these in, this is plastic, so we don't need oil, that we do put it in so we can access the other ones there. If you put it in that way round, you're not going to be able to get to them. So put it in like that and I'll get an AP screw for each side. I actually just put them in really loose to start off with and then tighten them up. As I said, historically, this is normally where I need the plasters, but uh, I think we're good today. There we go. That's that universal joint in. Bring over the bulkhead again, and hopefully you can see this. What's going to happen is this universal joint here is going to go through this hole from the back and it's going to be connecting to the steering bar here. Once again, that's held in with the AP screws. Now once you get one side in, it gets easy. All we've got to do then is just get to the other side. As you can see, by turning it, it's uh, going to want to turn the tyre. <laughs> but I'll get the other one in here as well. Let's turn that round for me so I can see this. And there's that last one in place. 
So if you watch that universal joint, when I turn the tire, it's wanting to turn, as you can see. That's exactly how we want that to work. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage eight, as you can see here, Beat Up Magazine again, we're gonna pretty much start working on the other side. So we've got the suspension, just like we did last time, and putting all this together with the uh, brakes there. So by the end of it, it's looking like that, and it's created a hub as well. And as you can see, we've got the rims and tires coming in the following stages. Once again, all come in this convenient box. Now, we have done this before. Uh, one of these tabs has got a longer section than the smaller one there. That's actually just gonna go into this side here. So the longer one is nearer to this edge. So it fits over the two holes that we've got inside there. And that's held in with AM screws. Now don't get confused because this stage has AAM screws as well. <laughs> we just want the AM screws. So two to put in. Now, once again, I've got a steering rod to put into place. I'll turn this over, and as you can see, we've got a little resting place for this to go on. That's going to go on like that there. And we're going to put a bracket over the top of that, which is going to go in this way to keep that into place. So that's held in, once again, with an AM screw. And make sure that's nice and tight. Anywhere, put that to one side, because now we're going to start assembling the brakes. And to do that, we're going to be putting these two sections here with this uh, pattern together. We have got a locating lug in there to help us out. So I'll put that locating lug on there and just make sure that that's going to be uniform all around. I do want to hold these together. So we've got two holes there for some SM screws. Did I say SM? I meant SP. <laughs> I'm not reading them properly today. I was going to say that's not metal. If it ends in an M, it's metal. If it ends in a P, it's plastic. I knew this was plastic, so I knew it couldn't be SM screws. It had to be SP. But there we go, that's the brake disc done. Put that to one side. We're gonna be taking the brake housing now. We're gonna be putting all of this together and lining up this section as well over the top. to so make sure that fits nice and comfortably in place there. And again, AM screws just into the two holes here to keep this in place. So one that side. I do like the amount of metal these suspension parts have. I think with the weight of these vehicles, it's needed big time. There you go. So with that in, I now get to put the brake disc on, which is just going onto the top. And I wanna hold that in place by attaching the caliper. Now the caliper is gonna be going into the two holes that we can see on that side. So I just wanna get it like this, put it over the top, ready for some screws to put that in. Now that's held in with some SP screws again. They're already open, so that's convenient. One there. And just one on the other side. Now that's gonna hold that brake disc in place. We can put that to one side and bring over what we were working on previously. We've got this stub to put in, which is going into the square bracket that you can see there. So it's going in like that. And then this side is held in with an AAM screw. Told you you're gonna get confused with these screw names. Bit of oil. And again, we wanna make sure this is in tight because I'm gonna be putting this section onto here now. This section here needs to be facing down. So it's gonna go on that way and then this is gonna go into position just like that. That's held in on the top and bottom with GM screws. I'm telling you, it is amazing how uh, Fiddly, that section actually is. Let's use my bigger screwdriver here. Get that all the way in. All we have to do then is just take this drop arm here. That's going to go in there. And that's held in with an ABM screw just from this side. So put that through and get that screwed in. And then the other side of this can actually just go onto the hub just there. And that's held in once again with a UM screw. These are the flange screws. And that will keep this in place. That was a really fiddly stage doing that. But that 
is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage nine, again, here's the magazine. Let's have a quick look through that. And we know that we've got the uh, ribs coming. They look just like this. So we have got a little uh, universal adapter, just like we did in, earlier in this stage, to put on the end of that steering rod and get that in. They don't actually want me to make the rim in this one. Interesting. So even though we do get a lot of parts in this stage, and I will show you what they look like. As you can see, we've got the metal rims here and a plastic section here. I've got this universal joint, which is all we're going to be doing in this stage. And we know how this goes. I'm going to load up an AP screw ready. Once again, I'm just going to put this into place here. To kind of hold it in my hand to line up one side, get this AP screw in there. Then put one in just on the other side, just like that. That was an enormously quick stage, but that is all there is to do in that stage. So the last stage for this pack is stage 10. Again, here's the magazine. Flick through that again. And as you can see, we have got the uh, tire here with some screws. So what we're basically doing is we're going to be putting the rims into the tire. We're going to be attaching this to that suspension bar we created earlier. So it looks just like that. So on here, as you can see, I've got wide tread on here, narrow tread on this side. So I need to make sure I've, I know what side's what for this tire. I want the narrow treads to be facing up when I put this section of the rim in. So this is going to go into the top just like that. Turn that over. And then I can put the bottom section in, lining that up with the holes, pushing that into place. And I'm holding all of that together with CM screws. And it takes three of these. So I'll get all of these in. Bring over what we've been working on last time. And I'm going to be putting the wheel onto this section. Now the wheel does have some little indents in there that I need to line up. Not the easiest thing to line up, but you heard that click in then. So I'm going to hold that just like this. I have got a washer to put down the top and then an AAM screw to screw both of these together. And you do want these to be really tight. So once I've tightened this up with my screwdriver, I'm going to get my bigger screwdriver now. to ensure that's as tight as I can get it. So that's the other wheel on here. Then all I've got to do is put the hub in the end, just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. So let's just figure out kind of how this goes. So if we've got this one here, this one's gonna kind of go here, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this goes sort of in between somehow. Just giving you an idea of how this looks, but obviously it's gonna be mounted higher. And then we'd have this, I'm guessing, just going kind of over the top like that. Giving you an idea of how that's gonna be. But uh, I've got no idea how that fixes together. And that's the joy of these builds. We get to find that out in a later stage. But uh, I mean, look how bent these magazines are. I don't actually keep these magazines, so... Uh, that's the Batman Tumblr. But if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Hashette Partworks website. You can get this all the way from pack one. Really enjoyable build and it's already heavy what we've done, but I will put this in a box now to keep that perfectly safe. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.